Hi and welcome to Tips on Drawing Back Anatomy. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. <clears throat> so today I'm going to be talking about the anatomy of the back, uh, giving you some really quick tips, quick and dirty. Uh, one of the reasons why I, uh, I just thought I'd upload this video is because there's um, we often get a lot of, of uh, explanation of the front of the body, the torso, right but um, not so much the back so this uh, video is actually taken from uh, a coaching video that I did a feedback video to somebody who I was coaching uh, but I again like when I do these I totally snip out all the actual personal uh, feedback that I give to that person because uh, they they tend to send me the drawings and I draw over them and, 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 and things like that but they also ask me questions and then sometimes I uh, I, I take uh, time to do a quick and dirty lesson on something just so that we could focus on it so that we can uh, get more work done on that and then I can give them, give them direct feedback on their work here. So this time around with this person we were talking about torsos and things like that. So uh, th this video is taken from that. I took a snippet of that and then a uh, uh, the, uh, little bit of me talking about the torso so that you can also benefit from it. Uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so that's what this is. Uh, hopefully you'll find it helpful. So let's get on with the video. So this is uh, very, very similar to what we've been doing. Torso tube. So let, let's say that, um, here boom 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 then we got the skirt boom 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 okay and then we've got the head that come, comes out here I mean the neck the head so here on uh, the the usually when we do the front the basic landmark is is the is the um, the packs right boom the center line and then the pecs well in the back we don't have pecs um, so there are two landmarks that we want to really pay attention to when we are dealing with the back that will guide us in 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 putting in the rest of the information and that would be and by the way this is going this way like that and then this is going this way like this so the um, the idea being that the rib cage and the hips do this. So this goes this way and this goes this way, you know. Um, so this is coming up. We're looking up, uh, down at it, and then we're looking up at this. So, um, just in in general, that's that's what we're that's what we're seeing in the back. Um, the the same could be said if we're looking at something in the front. That we're looking at this coming away from us. We're looking up at this, and we're looking down at this. Pit of the neck. So again, in 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 in, uh, in the front, pit of the neck and pecs tend to be our landmarks where we we tend to kind of know where the hell we are. And then the hip the hip bones here. In um in the back, what we have is the scapulas. And the scapulas. Are the equivalent of the collarbones in the back and the reason I say that is um, well it, it, because um, the shoulders those shoulder muscles that we've been talking about attach to the scapulas the scapulas are actually floating 
bones. They're not actually attached to any other bone through any kind of ligament. Um, they are they are attached purely by the uh, by the uh, shoulders. So they 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 um, they connect to the shoulders. See, so here's here. See how the tr there's a triangle here. That's why I want you to copy this because it's got. Pay extra attention to the fact that there's a triangle right there. See how it's just simplified into a triangle. Uh, this is actually a thing that Steve Houston. Um, uh, taught taught me. Is about the it's it, it's a uh, it's a triangle shape here. So we have this triangle shape, and then with when it comes to the glutes, to the back, there's a triangle here. And this triangle here is you're gonna see there's like a few there's like two dots right here in the when it comes to the butt. So you've got these the glutes that are butter, butterflies, and then here, and that is the um, this is the pelvis bone. So um, so why this helps these this little triangle that ends up just being two dots, and, and why this helps here be your guide and then like the rest I believe this attaches Let's see yeah so they attach right here see here's a little here's the little triangle there's that little triangle shape right there so these things go from the armpit all the way down they come in and then they attach here they come in and they attach here so we got the the spine obviously is 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 the center line for the back then we've got these shapes the for the lats that go from the armpit all the way to the sides here um, and then these rods here so my wife's got huge muscle like these these two muscles right here and her just it's like she's got two steel bars protecting her spine It's ridiculous and like the, it goes they're, they're like this and then her spine is like way the hell back here and then and then the, these muscles it's crazy like she's got this huge gap right right here like in, in her spine it's crazy so and then uh, so these two the, the these triangles are, are big big landmarks this triangle here is a big big landmark and then from from which we can work on the rest these connect up here And there is a kind of a triangle, a diamond shape back here like this. Where I believe there's a gap or something. I don't know if, if it's in, I don't know if Hampton's going to have anything. Yeah, it's right there, this little gap here. It's right there. Right there. right there there it is it's the diamond of the traps I'm not sure what that is in any case it's there so we got these boom 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 then we go back to the lats here and then the rest we kind of know And then again with the shoulders. Yeah, 
and they do basically the same thing that you do from the front with the pecs except they go inside here rather than under oh no they these guys go out, uh, out over too so both of both on both the front and the back so the idea being that if you've got somebody bending down or doing something like that then you have these you know and then you have this and then you you look th that's the the landmark you look for in a figure is the scapula the spine and this And then you can see that there's shoulders here. Shoulders would be coming off of here. We'll deal with this, with these, uh, this anatomy later. Lats, I mean uh, traps. Lats. That's not right. If it would be like that, it would be like this. Just because you know the muscles are there doesn't mean that you have to draw the muscles there because they may, can be covered up by overlapping body shape, other other body shapes. So again, these are the landmarks you want to look for. So the scapula, this little shape here. Uh, once you draw the um, the, uh, the the basic um, kind of t body tube, um, and then and then the rest. You know, you can kind of, you'll observe it. So I'm happy to announce that I now have a new drawing lesson called Drafu Guide to Sketching and Gesture Foundations. It's the beginning of the level two information that people have been asking me for, for the drawing website, which will teach you where to start drawing, what to draw, what to draw when you draw, how to draw from observation, how to draw from imagination, how to draw what you envision, and how to discover what you ought to envision if you don't have anything specific in mind. So if you find any of this interesting, you could follow the link that you see, or you can go to thedrawingwebsite.com, look under level two, and you'll find the link there.